With the main strategy of this market, we can get a few thousand dollars. This strategy is very simple, consisting of an indicator and a few important points in the market. We know when the price in a time range reaches too much in the time zone or stays more with this indicator. You can take the pump and dump for yourself. This two strategy is one of the most profitable strategies in the market. Knowing a few important points, we can profit from it. Well, first, search the MACD indicator and then the Relative Vigor Index, i.e. RVI. Then we will see what can be done on the chart. Consider the upward trend that the ceiling and floor are higher than each other, or the new ceiling is higher than the previous ceiling and the previous floor is higher than the new floor. We have a lot to do with floors and ceilings, and we can even predict the future. Let's see what will happen in the end of this process. Either it will turn into suffering or it will continue its downward trend. Thank you for liking the video. Let's go to the most important strategy from which you can learn a lot. We have to identify the trend from the beginning and know whether we are going to fail with this strategy or not. We should draw support and resistance in important areas, especially in the blocks. We cry more and we trade a lot in the direction of Ron. It is better that we have to draw the important rules and then add these two indicators. Well, from now on, it will be easy in the upward trend when the price rises from a new ceiling above the previous ceiling. When the price corrects to the bottom or makes a pullback, when we see the candlestick, we will see the confirmation. We have to wait when the RVI crosses the blue line, the red line, and the blue line crosses the red line and up. And if it is close to the histogram, it can rise a lot. The Relative Vigor Index allows to detect the strength of price changes and therefore may be used in the analysis of divergent-convergent patterns. Usually, the higher the indicator goes, the stronger the current dependent price increase. Usually, the lower the indicator goes, the stronger the current dependent price drop will be. This indicator, green color, along with its signal line, red color, a four-period moving average line belonging to RVI, helps to detect changes in existing price volatility. If the RVI crosses above the signal line, it indicates a possible selling opportunity. If the RVI reaches the signal line from the bottom and crosses it, it indicates a possible buying opportunity. Relative strength index can be greater or less than zero. It is believed that when both lines are in the positive zone, it is worth considering longs, and if it is below zero, shorts are preferred. When the indicator is fixed above zero, you should think about increasing the long position, and if it reaches below zero, increase the short position. It is believed that the indicator gives reliable signals near its minimum or maximum values. Received signals close to the zero mark should be ignored or wait for confirmation. In case of error, it is worth moving the stop loss behind the market. A trader receives a strong signal when he sees a divergence. The price continues to update extremes and the indicator does not follow it. The sell transaction is the same. When the price reaches the resistance zone, we should wait for the signal line crosses of the two indicators. One point is very important. We must know that when the price reaches the important zones, we must remember that the zone that has a Mackey reaction should be pulled back. Wait, the larger the market is, we should know that the pullback is in that area when the price reaches, and our indicators are MACD from top to bottom and close to the histogram, and the blue line should cross the red line downwards, and the RVI should also cross the blue line and the red line. If it crosses below the range of 100 or 90, we will open a sell transaction. Thank you for watching the video so far. I hope you can make the most of it. Watch the video related to the strategy.